All right, so here's the break. One of the nice things about this break is that the first half and the second half are the same. So once you get the first half down, you've got the whole thing. Now we start out at the 12th fret of the banjo here, a little two finger G chord. And in this position, we're going to do our Foggy Mountain Breakdown roll. So this is two one two one five two one five. And we're going to do it uh, twice in a row. So it'll sound like this. Then we're going to move up to a little two finger C chord. In this chord, you're going to do the same roll pattern twice through the Foggy Mountain Breakdown roll. All right, the next lick uh, takes care of the D chord and it sounds like this. This is called the choke lick and for those of you who have already done the up the neck break for Foggy Mountain Breakdown, you'll know this lick. Uh, for the rest of you, this is what it sounds like. Okay, after the choke lick, the last lick in the uh, first half of the song is this. Okay, so we are in this chord position, which is known as the uh, Cumberland Gap position. In this position, you're going to play a second string. That's an eighth note, so there's a little pause after it. And then you're going to do a forward and backward roll. Five, two, one, two, three. When you hit that third string just there, you're going to slide down the neck. It doesn't really matter what fret you slide to. You're definitely starting at the ninth fret, but you can slide to kind of the third fret, kind of the second fret. Just kind of let up when you get down there. It's not that important. Play the open third at the end of the slide. And then on the end of this, we've got our two pinches separated by that, that open second string. So the whole phrase that starts with the second string, remember, is... <laughs> 